So, uh, yeah, I'm going back to Canada mainly because, uh, I, of the safety of us. I don't want anyone getting, anybody getting hurt because I'm here. So, I'm gonna go back there for now until I get things straightened out. And it's like, I came here to be free and the beings that, uh, one wanted to have, one didn't want any contact with, I didn't want any contact with them anymore, like, they are still being possessive over me. Like, so why did you we, leave we in the first place? We can't own Why, why did you leave in the, why don't you tell them why you left in the first place? Did I call you like, hey, come join us, be here with no. us? Am, am I controlling or manipulating no. your mind? I, I was going to leave Canada even before I found nature, so. You, it's you like actually tried to, to and like, they. I just felt like I belonged here, that's why I came here, like, my heart just felt like this is my family, so that's why I came here, but I was gonna go, I had plans to leave the country even before, like, and then I, and then the, like, and then they tried to be possessive over me, so I got put, I got put on pills because I want to leave. So and basically her family, you know, she's saying that her family just basically put you on medication because you try to leave, like she tried to go to Hawaii before she got here. Yeah. Now, I, I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, and I, but I did ask her before she got here, do you have crazy parents? She was like, well, they don't matter. I'll throw my phone away because we had someone here else that was white that got snatched out of here before. And so there's another thing I want to address. Um, it seems to be that you might not be able to join me um, if you're white and you actually have a divine heart and you actually are the immune system on this planet because the immune system comes in all races, all forms, all shapes. Um, and when I say immune system, I mean just want to live in harmony with nature and stop the destruction in the, in, the, in the carbon footprint on this planet. Just being in harmony with nature. That's the culture of, of melanation. Um, if you want to join nature, boy, you're not allowed to join me anymore. What you are allowed to do is do what I did. I'm leading by example. That's all I'm doing. I kept getting pulled over for crappy stuff. I just kept getting, because of my skin in America, I just kept getting in legal trouble. Um, luckily, I've always been someone that was able to accumulate some kind of money to get out of my situations. But what I realized is the whole judicial system, and I, ho I knew that it was against me. And I advise anybody to move to Costa Rica and to get up out of there if you can, and do what Nature Boy does. I haven't been the most pleasant personality. I will admit that. I will admit that I've said the, the truth in a mean way. Like I said it in a firm, authoritative way. Because I was convicted with truth in my heart against the evils. And sometimes I get so mad about the evils in the world that when I speak, I could come off so strong. But my heart is pure and my message is pure. And I um, want to apologize if I offended anybody in any kind of way because I said it, the truth, in the wrong way. I stand by everything that I, that I stand by. I just want the world to see what's going on here. I want the world to see how sick we are mentally. I want this to be an example of what you're involved in. And I want everyone to see what's going on. And I wanted to have my own say so. And I'm sure Sunray wanted to speak for herself before you get back because they probably <laughs> gonna they're probably gonna try to isolate you and try to twist your words around and speak for you and So don't worry about the comments. Don't read those. Cause they they these you know, a lot of people are sick, you know. They're seeing things from their perspective in life. And we can't allow our worlds to be, and our perspectives to be affected by someone else's perspective. We have to keep a healthy perspective that that's their perception.
and and when you understand that other people is coming from their world of experiences and prejudices of their own mm -hmm. and then they're speaking out of their heart about what they uh, what appears to them to you so, so. a lot of people are just projecting themselves so when they say negative things only the truth can recognize the truth mm -hmm. you see so when you when you understand that that's how you're not going to be able to be Affected by, affected by demons, mm. which are thoughts, low vibrational thought frequencies that people have and they put out. People could be very, very mean. And that's exactly why this is happening because the media has stalked us day and night um, in every angle they have harassed us and, 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 and what harassed, and I mean. We, and all we are doing is living in harmony, like, that says something. Attempting. That yeah. says something about the world. Like, so it's sick. But here's the thing I want to say. The lower self will not win this war. This is a spiritual war. You will not win. Your time is up. Your time is up. You can... Spiritual warfare. You can try to destroy the truth all you want. All you have is the ignorant to feed off of them. And I, and, I, and I urge anyone that is in their ignorance to use the information aids to study with an open heart and listen with the open heart instead of judging with your eyes. You cannot use your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your ears alone in this warfare we're in. You have to use your heart. Because the eyes can be played tricks upon, the ears can be played tricks upon, the nose, the, all the five senses, they can be played tricks upon. We know this with magicians. So I urge everybody to live in harmony with nature, go to the tropics, come, move to Costa Rica. I urge everyone to do what I've done. This is how we will destroy the planet I mean, to destroy the cancer on the planet. We will destroy the cancer. You can't fight fire with fire. A lot of people that think they don't understand what we're, what we're up against. We're fighting cancer here. There's a cancer in our own body that we live in. Right now, we live inside of our own body. That's what the planet is. That's what this life is. You're inside of your own body. That sounds crazy, but if I told you you came out of someone else's body, you would say, wow, that sounds crazy. But the truth is, you came out of someone's body and you're living inside of your own body. And the body that you came out of was actually your own body. Now that's deep information.